Okay, we're going to talk about arithmetic sequences. And an arithmetic sequence, here's a, here's a definition so you can kind of read this, write it down if you'd like. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which each term differs from the preceding term by a constant amount. The difference between the consecutive terms is called the common difference. All right? We usually don't call that just D for difference of the sequence. So here's an example. We have a sequence here. Now remember, it's a function whose domain is the set of natural numbers. So this is the range. So my domain values would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. They just keep going. So these are the first five terms. And we could call this a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5, if we want to use the a sub n notation. But always go, I would go all, all way out here, then this might be the nth term which we just call that in general, n, and that term's going to be a sub n, whatever it is, you see. And then they keep going. It's an infinite sequence. All right? So if you understand the notation, this would be a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5. And is this a, we could just verify, is this actually a arithmetic sequence? Well, let's just see what's the difference between 126 and 120. Well, the difference is 6. What's the difference between 126 and 132? That's also 6. That's 6. And that's 6. So you can see the difference is constantly 6. So the next term, what do you think the next term would be? We'll just add 6, because we add 6 to this, add 6 to 126 to 132, add 6 to 132 to 138, add 6 to 144, and we get 150. So the next term would be 150, and the next term after that would be 156. We just keep adding 6. So we could say that D equals 6. All right, so my comma difference is 6. Okay, if that makes sense. Here's another one. Uh, negative 10, negative 7, negative 4, negative 1, negative 2. So again, these are the range values. My domain is natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, etc. Okay? So you, can, so you can see that we have five terms that we can see, but it's going to go on and on forever. So we could actually put dot, 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 put n. And this would be a sub n. Now let's just see if it is a arithmetic sequence. So what's the difference here? Well, in order to get the difference between uh, negative 10 and negative 7, negative 10 and negative 7 is 3. Just add 3. If I add 3 to negative 7, I get negative 4. If I add 3 to negative 4, I get negative 1. If I add 3 to negative 1, I get 2. So it looks like my common difference, D, equals 3. And my next term, I would add 3 to 2, I would get 5. If I add 3 to 5, I get 8, etc. So that's what we've got. Okay, so it is an arithmetic sequence. Here's one more example. And again, if I look at my natural numbers as the domain, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. I guess we could put commas on here. After all these, if we want. So again, those are the domain elements. And my answer would be a sub n, whatever that is. And let's just see if it is actually just verify that it is an arithmetic. Sequence, what do I add to 11 to get 7? Uh, negative 4. So we're subtracting, but it's all right. It's still a common difference. If I add negative 4 to 7, I get negative 3. If I add negative 4 to 3, I get negative 1. If I add negative 4 to negative 1, I get negative 5. So you see we have a common difference. What do you think the next term would be? Well, if I had negative 4 to negative 5, I would get negative 9. If I had negative 4 to negative 9, I get negative 13. So you can see you can generate the terms. So those are some examples of arithmetic sequences. Okay, the nth term or the general term of an arithmetic sequence is given by this formula. 
a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, where a sub 1 is the first term and d is a common difference. You can kind of see how this works. In other words, if we've got our first term, how many common differences we're going to add to get the second term, we're going to add one common difference. So if we add, start with our first term, in this case it would be 11. If I add just one difference of negative 4, or to get my second term, or 2 minus 1, which should be 1 times the common difference of negative 4, this would be 11 plus negative 4, I would get 7. And if I wanted the third term, n would be 3, so I would add two common differences to the first term. So 11 plus a negative 4 and negative 4, or plus a negative 8 would give me 3. So let's we'll see how, this is, how, the, how the formula kind of makes sense. Okay? So it's a very easy formula to kind of remember because it all makes sense. And let's take a look at an example here. Here's an example. Find the 50th term, that's a sub 50, of this arithmetic sequence. So again, remember the domain of the natural numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is my domain. And I, I want to go, let's just see what we want to find out, the 50th term. And that's going to give me a sub 50, that's what I'm looking for. So what is a sub 50? So we have a nice formula. So we know over here that we can write down the formula. a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So a sub 50, so every time I see a and n, I'll write a 50. So a sub 50, that equals a sub 1, which is the first term, and the first term is 2. plus n minus 1, and what's my n? In this case, it's 50. Every time I see an n, I'll write a 50. And what's my common difference here? Well, what do I add to 2 to get 5? Well, if I add 3, I get 5. So it looks like the common difference is 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. So it looks like d is equal to 3. So I'll just put 3 here for the d. And that's going to be 2 plus, and what's 50 minus 1? 49 times 3. Okay, what's 3 times 49? Well, it looks like it's uh, be a, 2 times 50 is 150, so minus 3 would be 147. Plus 2 makes it 149. Oops, there you go. So my 50th term here would be 149. Okay? Let's hope that makes sense. Pretty easy formula to use.